Let's solve this question which I have taken from GATE 2008 electrical paper. We will first read the question and then we will solve it. Let xt is equal to rect t minus 1 by 2 where rect t is equal to 1 for t greater than equal to minus 1 by 2 and less than equal to 1 by 2 and 0 otherwise. Then if sin t is equal to sin pi t divided by pi t, the Fourier transform of x t plus x minus t will be given by. There are four options and after solving for the Fourier transform of x t plus x minus t we need to choose the correct option. In this question two informations are absolutely redundant. The first one is about rec t and the second one is about sinc t. The two functions are basic functions and we already know about them. So if in the question these two informations are not given then also we can easily obtain the Fourier transform of x t plus x minus t. The important thing is obtaining the waveforms of x t and x minus t. We can obtain the waveform of x t from here. x t is equal to rect t minus 1 by 2. So the first thing we need to do is to have the waveform of rect t. And after that we will perform the time shifting operation and we will have x t. Then we will perform the time reversal operation to get x minus t. And as we have x t and x minus t we will add them. We will add them to get x t plus x minus t. And from the waveform of x t plus x minus t we will obtain the Fourier transform. So this is our task. We need to obtain the Fourier transform of x t plus x minus t. Let's say the Fourier transform is equal to y omega and x t plus x minus t is equal to y t. So let's move to the solution of the question. You can see here we are having the waveform of rec t. We already know in case of rec t the amplitude a is equal to 1 and tau is also equal to 1. So you can see amplitude is 1 and tau the duration in which the signal value is equal to 1 is equal to 1. On the signal we will perform the time shifting operation and we will perform the right shifting by 1 by 2 because xt is equal to rec t minus 1 by 2. So let's perform the time shifting operation and after performing the time shifting we have the waveform like this. The whole waveform is shifted towards the right by half seconds. And as we are having the waveform of signal xt, it is very easy to obtain the waveform of signal x minus t. We only need to perform the time reversal operation. So we will perform the time reversal operation and we will have the waveform like this. And this is the waveform of signal x minus t. Now the next task is to perform the addition of xt and x minus t. And after adding them, we will have the waveform like this and you can see xt plus x minus t is a rectangular function. xt plus x minus t we have assumed equal to yt. So yt is a rectangular function and we already know the Fourier transform of the rectangular function. In this particular case you can see that the amplitude a is equal to 1 and tau, tau is equal to 2 and the Fourier transform, the Fourier transform y omega is equal to a tau sampling omega tau by 2. So y omega is equal to 1 multiplied to 2 sampling omega multiplied to 2 divided by 2. So we have 2 sampling omega. Now we will perform few modifications in this result because we cannot see 2 sampling omega in the given 4 options. So we will write 2 sampling omega equal to 
2 times sin omega divided by omega and we know we know sin 2 theta is equal to 2 sin theta multiplied to cos theta so if we have sin theta then it will be equal to 2 sin theta by 2 multiplied to cos theta by 2 so we can write sin omega equal to 2 sin omega by 2 multiplied to cos omega by 2 so we will have 2 sin omega by 2 multiplied to cos omega by 2 I will write this 2 here and we will have the Fourier transform y omega equal to 2 sin omega by 2 divided by omega by 2 this 2 I have written here multiplied to cos omega by 2 sin omega by 2 divided by omega by 2 is equal to sampling omega by 2 so y omega is equal to 2 times sampling omega by 2 multiplied to cos omega by 2 but still we don't have the answer matching to the given four options so let's see what we can do further we know sink t sink t is equal to sin pi t divided by pi t in place of t if we write t by pi then we will have sin pi t by pi pi t by pi this pi this pi will cancel this pi and this pi will cancel so sink t by pi is equal to sin t divided by t and sin t divided by t is equal to sampling t and here we are having sampling omega by 2 so in place of t we will have omega by 2 in place of t we will have omega by 2 so here in place of t we will write omega by 2 so we will have sync omega by 2 pi so in place of sampling omega by 2 we can write sync omega by 2 pi so we have the Fourier transform y omega equal to 2 sync omega by 2 pi cos omega 2 and you can see we are having option C as the Fourier transform so option C is the correct option and this is all for this question now we will move to the homework problem in the homework problem we are having a time domain signal xt which is equal to ut minus 2 multiplied to ut plus 2 and you need to calculate the Fourier transform x omega of the time domain signal so first you need to plot the waveform of ut minus 2 then plot the waveform of ut plus 2 then multiply the two waveforms and from the resultant waveform obtain the Fourier transform so once you have your answer post it in comment section I will end this lecture here see you in the next one